Hi there, welcome back. Today we will create a 3D golden text title with a cinematic light ray effect in DaVinci Resolve. As usual, you can download the macro setting files with links in the description below. From the effects panel, drag a fusion composition clip to the timeline and open it in the fusion page. Add a text 3D node to the node editor. With the text node selected, click Merge 3D and render a 3D in the toolbar to add the nodes into the editor. Connect the renderer node to media out. Drag the Merge 3D into the left viewer. Select the text node and go to the inspector. Enter golden as the title text. Set the color to orange. Change the size and tracking if needed. Go to the Layout tab. Adjust the center Y value so that the title appears in the center of the screen. Go to the text page. Change the extrusion depth and bevel depth width to give the title a 3D look. Click this lighting button in the toolbar to enable the lighting option for the 3D viewer. Now we have a 3D title shown in the left viewer. To enable the 3D output for the final media out in the right side viewer, select the Renderer 3D node. Check the Lighting and Shadows options in the inspector. The title now turns into black because there is no light source in the 3D scene. Select the Merge 3D node, click the spotlight in the toolbar to add a light source to the 3D scene. Select the Spotlight node, go to the 3D viewer, Pull back the spotlight to light up the text title. Go to the Transform tab in the Inspector. Enable the Use Target option, this adds a control point in the viewer. Drag it around to control the target lighting area, and we can easily adjust the light angle and distance without losing the target. Since the spotlight is positioned in front of the title, some letters might be too dark on the sides. Select the Merge 3D node. Press Shift Space to open the Tool Selection window. Find and add an ambient light to the scene. We can change intensity to adjust the ambient light output level. I think 0.26 is good. Select Render a 3D node. Press Shift Space. Insert a directional blur node. Go to the inspector and change the type to zoom. Set the length to 1. Glow to 0.1. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning, frame 0. Mark a keyframe for the center parameter, set the center x to 0. Go to the end of the clip. Change the center x to 1.5. Play the clip. This looks cool, but the title is gone. To bring the title back, branch out the Renderer 3D node and merge it with the output of Directional Blur. We now have the title merged as foreground with the light rays. But it doesn't seem to be blended very well. Click the background of the node editor, press Shift Space to open the Tool Selection window. Find and add a Soft Glow node to the editor. Hold the Shift key and drag it over the connection line between Renderer and Merge node. Release the button when the line is highlighted. The node is now inserted before the Merge node. In the Inspector, change the gain to 0.5. Set the Glow size to 5. Play the clip. OK, this looks good to me. Next we will add some keyframes to fade in and out the light rays. Select the Directional Blur node. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Switch to the Settings tab in the Inspector. Set a keyframe for the Blend parameter. Change the value to 0. Go to Frame 30. Change the Blend value to 1. Mark another keyframe at Frame 90. Move to frame 120. 
change the blend value to zero to hide the light rays. Similarly, we create keyframes for the blend parameter of the soft glow node. Set blend to zero at frame zero, one at frame 30, and frame 90. At frame 120, set blend to zero to hide the glowing effect and reveal the initial title. To use this title effect in different projects, I have created a macro and you can get it through the links in the description. Once it's installed or copied to the effect template folder, we can simply add it to the timeline. And change the title, color and other basic settings in the inspector. If required, we can open it in the Fusion page and make advanced adjustments. For example, change the 3D extrusion to a custom style. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.